within the day of the Sunday, within the octave of the ascension of our Lord. Our Lord ascended into heaven 40 days after Easter. Good to be here again in Pocatello. And the epistle for the first, for the Sunday after the octave, Sunday within the octave of the ascension of our Lord, is taken from St. First Epistle, St. Peter, chapter 4. Dearly beloved, be prudent and wash in prayers. But before all things, have a constant mutual charity among yourselves. For charity covereth a multitude of sins. Use in hospitality one towards another, without murmuring, as every man hath received grace, ministering the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the words of God. If any man minister, let them let him do it as of the power which God administereth, that in all things God may be honored through Jesus Christ our Lord. In the Gospel, take that according to St. John, chapter 15. At the time, Jesus said to his disciples, When the paraclete cometh, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceedeth from the Father, he shall give testimony of me, and you shall give testimony because you are with me from the beginning. These things I have spoken to you, that you may not be scandalized. They will put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the hour cometh, that whosoever killeth you will think that he doth a service to God. And these things will they do to you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things I have told you, that when the hour shall come, you may remember that I told you of them. Thus far the words of today's Holy Gospel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember our Lord Jesus Christ, and this day. He is true God and true man. And as a true man, he has a body. Just like, just like all men have a body. And his body right now is perfectly united to his soul. Jesus Christ rose from the dead 2,000 years ago. He rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. And his body was, walked the earth and he went and spoke many times to the people, to, the, to his disciples, over the course of 40 days. And during those 40 days, he met with his with his disciples and showed them that he really rose from the dead, and uh, and spoke with them many times, proving the reality of his resurrection that he truly rose from the dead. And then on Ascension Thursday, forty days after Easter, that's a few days ago, Thursday, just a couple days ago, a holy day of obligation in our church, in the Holy Roman Catholic Church. What happened? Our Lord Jesus Christ physically, with his body, went up into heaven. He was he had a meal with his apostles. And then he talked to them, and he told them, he told them, you you should have had a stronger faith. When I, when you when you when the holy women saw me rise from the dead, when Saint Peter saw me rise from the dead, it took you so long to believe in the reality of the resurrection. And I want you to carry a strong faith from now, the year 33 A.D., 2,000 years ago, until the very ending of the world. And going therefore, I want you to teach my gospel, teach the gospel to every nation. So right now, when I preach the gospel to you here in Pocatello, Idaho, I am obeying the command of our Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. He said, you go out. Teach all things whatsoever I have taught you. And to teach the things that our ancestors saw as a witness. So that, so that the apostles, they were all priests and bishops, and they saw Jesus Christ rise from the dead. And 40 days after his resurrection, he was on the mount on a mountain in Israel, and he, he spoke with several thousand of his followers who, had, who, who saw him in the resurrection. He ate a meal with them. He celebrated the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the same Mass we're celebrating today. And then he went and ascended up into heaven. And his body went straight up into heaven. And his body went up past the clouds. It went up past the star, uh, into the stars and to the very ends of the universe, where it is called the Empyrean Heaven. And Jesus Christ's body is there right now. And when we have Mass... The body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ enters inside the host. And it's that body that is ascended into heaven. So remember Jesus Jesus Christ really physically with his extended body, his body just like mine. His body went up into heaven and it's there right now. Our Lord Jesus Christ is six feet tall. And he is six feet tall there in heaven, sitting at the right hand of God the Father. And the Blessed Virgin Mary, she was assumed into heaven. Her body was also brought up into heaven. Her body was pulled up into heaven by the angels. Jesus Christ's body, he went up on his own power straight into heaven. And 15 years later, 
The Blessed Virgin Mary was assumed. She was pulled up into heaven by the angels. Because of course she didn't have the power to climb to heaven by herself. So the angels picked her up and brought her up into heaven. Her body and soul are together in heaven. And her physical body is in heaven. And that's also a reminder to us that every one of us, we are all going to die. We are all going to die. When we die, our bodies will be buried in the ground and they will rot. But what's going to happen? The body is going to be reunited to our souls. And our bodies are going to unite to our souls and be with our Lord Jesus Christ in the valley of Josephat in the, in the country of Israel. And there we're going to stand before him. And those that are the friends of God who die with sanctifying grace, who die with God living inside of their hearts, they are going to be on the right side of our Lord Jesus Christ. And those that die, the enemies of God, they will be on the left side of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will come down from heaven from east to west, just like the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So at the end of the world, Jesus Christ in his physical six-foot body is going to come down from the east unto the west. He's going to go around the entire earth like the sun going around the earth. And he will gather all the souls. He will end up in the city of, in, in near Jerusalem in the valley of Josephat. Meanwhile, the angels will go and gather all the bodies that have died. The billions of bodies that have died in the last 6,000 years since God created the world. They're all going to be pulled together. And our physical bodies are going to be reunited to our souls. And right now, Jesus Christ, on the day of the ascension, he went up into heaven. And he reminded us that as he went up into heaven, body and soul, so he's going to come back, body and soul. He's going to come back, body and soul, at the ending of the world. And remember that his body and his soul are together in heaven, and that our bodies and souls must also be together with him. So we will one day ask the grace to be able to be together with him, body and soul in heaven. And remember that, therefore, it's important to remember that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Your body is sacred. Your body is holy. Your body is going to rise from the dead and be put back together. And so our body must, therefore, we must always make sure that our bodies stay away from sin, and our bodies live in a good and pure and clean way so that we don't put any kind of impurity into our bodies, any kind of, 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 of sin into our bodies, and that we, we keep our bodies pure so that we will be able to be with God for all eternity. And if we have any sins, what do we do? We go to confession and we beg forgiveness for our sins. So remember, our bodies and souls are going to be united together. And, when, and our Lord Jesus Christ, body and soul, went up into heaven on Ascension Thursday. It really physically went up into heaven. And heaven is really and truly in the very high in the sky. In the very center of the earth, below us, is really and truly hell. And the souls of the damned are in hell. And also the bodies of the damned, when they are reunited with their souls into the world, the body is going to be reunited to the souls, and the just will walk this earth. And they will be with God, walking this earth with great happiness. But the damned shall be pushed down into the center of the earth in the midst of the pool and lake of fire, which is called hell. And in that lake of fire they shall burn, and they shall be crushed together, one body on top of another, smashed together, in the kingdom of hell, which is a very small kingdom. All the bodies will be only a few miles into a small area, smaller than Pocatello, they'll be smashed together into the fires of hell. But the souls of the heaven, the souls of the just, will be united with their bodies, and we'll be able to walk around with our bodies anywhere upon the earth, We'll be able to be free, walking about, united, soul and body. So remember that we are not just trying to bring our souls to heaven, our hearts to heaven, our minds to heaven. We must bring our bodies also to heaven. And hence, today, we saw the first body of our Lord Jesus Christ, his sacred body that, that, that was crucified. That same body died, and that same body lay in the tomb for three days. And that same body rose from the dead. And that same body was, was, was walked the earth and appeared to his apostles over 40 days. And that same body on Ascension Thursday was in, uh, went up into heaven in the presence and the vision and the sight of all the apostles and several thousands of witnesses that saw that he truly did this. And now the time will come when our bodies shall also rise. So in any case, try to keep your bodies pure and the souls and body united in God. And then we will be able to be with him for all eternity. And be sorry for all of our sins and be faithful. And it's late tonight, but in any case, well, God bless you and a, and a happy uh, Feast of the Ascension. This day within, within the octave. And God bless you all then. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.